what I was thinking about when Hardman came back and you and I got into it. You got me my tea set back. You here to thank me for that? I'm here with a gesture of my own. This isn't a tea set. It's going up on the wall tomorrow. I asked for that a while ago. You said I wasn't ready. I also said I wasn't just going to slap someone else's name up there next to mine. But I did. And now you regret it. And you're playing chess again. What does that mean? It means I want to know if this is a gesture or if it's a move. What it is, is my way of showing you that Darby's treating me the same way I treated you. And I understand how you felt. You don't like it. And this is your way of getting me on your side. Harvey, I can't make you believe me. But I don't want you on my side. I want us to be on the same side. What do you want, Stephen? I hear Cameron got a witness. You did. What do you want? I'm just checking to see if there's anything I can do to help. There isn't. Cheers. What do you got? I couldn't find out where Cameron's got his witness hidden, but I figured out who it is. What? So now I know why you wanted to meet me at the elevator. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. What are you going to do about Jessica? I don't know. Nothing ever changes around here. It's good to see you too, Harvey. Now, what was so important that you just had to see me? I want to talk to you about extending my time at the DA's office. Come with me. Now, what's Cameron Dennis offering you? Why does he have to be offering me something? Because he knows if you want to keep someone in your house, offer them a better room. Head litigator. Do you want to stay there because it's a step up? Or because you can see yourself there in 10 years? Why do you want to know? Because I have a promotion ready for you right here. What are you talking about? Daniel Hardman and I are taking Gordon Schmidt and Van Dyke down. That's why we're up here. Did you think we were going to make out? Man can hope. <laughs> what? You sure you want to take control in the night? Night times when they're sleeping. Telling them you're coming shows them respect. Not telling them shows them more. What about honor? Harvey, we're lawyers. We're not in the honor business. What did I always tell you when you were here? Don't judge a man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. Well, if you're ever in these babies, we'll see if you feel the same way. What the hell is this? It's paperwork for the McKenzie deal. Type it up and get it up. No, that report was supposed to be disclosed during discovery. If you type up what I gave you, you'd know I'm disclosing it now. No, you're sticking it in there now as if it's always been there. It's called bluffing. Okay, it's what I do. That's how I got the confession in the first place. It's called bullshit. It's what bullshitters do, and it's how innocent people sometimes end up in prison. Watch yourself. Excuse me? That toxicology report doesn't change the fact that those two assholes killed that woman. And you being an asshole to me doesn't change the fact that you are breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law. I put the goddamn thing in there. They can find it if they can think to look. Harvey, you are making a huge... That's enough! I'm here. You're here. Do your job. You want to see me? What the hell is this? It's the McKenzie file. I know what it is. What the hell did you put in the fine print? You too? You're going to give me shit about not disclosing this report? Not disclosing it? You gave it to him on a silver platter. I don't understand. You want me to take it out? I don't want you to do shit. I've already taken it out. And if I'd wanted it disclosed, I wouldn't have misfiled it in the first place. You buried it? You're damn right I did. Cameron, 
Look, I'm all for skirting the law, but this is breaking the law. So is killing that woman, and I'm not going to let those two assholes walk because our eyewitness had a few beers at the ball game. They won't walk. That's why I put it in the fine print. You think you're the first guy to have this idea? Nobody does it because it doesn't work. Well, that's exactly why it can work. They won't think to look at it because nobody has the balls to do it. And what if they do? And these guys get out and they murder your brother or your father or your cousin? Because I tell you right now, they're going to murder someone. I don't feel comfortable. With I don't this. give a shit whether you feel comfortable or not. This is my case. We're not disclosing it. It's done. Cameron. I told you this before. Don't make me tell you again. I'm here. You're here. Do your job. Don't you want to ask me if they saw the fine print? Oh, no, of course you don't. Because you know they didn't because that report wasn't in the fine print anymore. Donna. Cameron made you take it out, didn't he? How'd you know? When I do my Donna shit with you, it's not just for fun. It's my job. Now, why don't you tell me why you didn't tell me? Because you hated me when I was working in the gray. This is the black. I didn't hate you. I was trying to stop you. And the truth is, what you were doing was right on the line. What he is making you do, that's illegal. It's one time, and it's not my case. It might not be your case, but it's definitely not just one time. I was here all night going through his past cases. How many? Too many. And I'll tell you another thing. I bet his first time he thought would be his last time. Donna. If you want somebody to just sit at her desk, answer your phones, and pick up your dry cleaning, then put out a one ad, because that's not me. I'm going to tell you what I think. And what I think is, if you do this, you're going to keep doing it. You know, I'm going to tell you something I never told you before. You might not want to hear it now, but... You know what your grandmother said to me when I told her I was going to ask your mother to marry me? What? Don't. Because if she'll cheat on someone else with you, she'll cheat on you with someone else. We had a huge blowout. I told her to shove it up her ass. Lily wouldn't do that. She, she'd be different with me because Lily loved me. Dad. No, no, no. Let me finish. And then years later, I found out the other guy thought the same thing. What I'm trying to say is, if, even if Cameron believes that he'll never make you do it again, he will. You disclose that report. That affidavit says I made a mistake, an honest mistake. And this one says, as my penance, I'm resigning. So, you're just going to put two killers back on the street? If you're half the prosecutor you say you are, you can still put them away. And I don't give a shit whether you feel comfortable with that or not, because you said it was your case, but you made it my case. I made it our case, because I thought you were about putting bad guys behind bars. Cameron, you asked, what if they got out and killed my father? Well, I think the question is, what if my father found out what I did to put them in? You goddamn pussy. The only thing that makes me a pussy is that I didn't send that affidavit in the second I found out. I decided what kind of attorney I want to be. I heard. You quit. Did you hear I also turned over the toxicology report? You didn't. Thought you were supposed to know everything. Had you not know this? Well, I knew that you were either going to take that promotion or you were going to quit. And either way, I wasn't sticking around to find out. You quit? Damn straight. I'm not working at a place headed by a viper. Donna, I can't get you another job. Oh, well, that's going to make my decision easier. What does that mean? I'm choosing between Brad and Gould, Scadden Arps, and O'Melveny and Myers. If I had another one, I don't know what I'd do. You know, it just occurred to me that you and I don't work together anymore. Yeah, that didn't just occur to you. Come clean, Harvey. What changed your mind? Instead of thinking about what I want to be doing in 10 years, I started thinking about who I want to be doing it with. Me over him. Terms are non-negotiable. You get what I give you. Fine by me. But I'm getting my own secretary. Associates don't get their own secretaries. This isn't about the associate. It's about the secretary. And I'm not coming here without her. She must be very special. She is. Difference comes out of your pocket. As long as she never knows. Welcome back, Harvey. Start Monday. Give it up. Oh, no. <laughs>